welcome back to the lab guys today we'll be going over how to access your Dell server via its integrated remote access controller or also known as iDRAC. iDRAC and most integrated remote access systems are accessible through a web GUI interface. To begin we first need to get the IP of our iDRAC. Once the IP has been found we can then move on to opening our browser and navigating to the IP. There are two ways to find this IP. The first being with an IP scanner tool which is another video I'm working on. The second is to boot the machine and when it's booting we look for the IP address as it loads the remote access controller. Start off by booting your device. While it's booting make sure to keep your eyes on the screen. We'll be looking for the iDRAC configuration utility as it loads. When it does it will let you know what IP address that iDRAC is using. Mine is using DHCP so it is pulling an address. I will make a video later on how to set a static or change your iDRAC to DHCP. Now that the server is loaded, you can see on my screen we have the iDRAC 6. It is using the IP of 10.0.21.57. From here we're going to go ahead and open our browser. Once open, we're going to enter the IP address that our iDRAC 6 is pulling. The default username and password are root and calvin with a C. Everything is lowercase. I'll make sure to post these below. Go ahead and press login. Once logged in, you will be brought back to the system summary page. Let's go ahead and click on console media at the top. Once the page loads, click on launch virtual console. Click OK to open the Java file. Another window will appear to let you know the certificate is not valid. Click continue. The last and final window will appear asking you to accept the risk and run the application. Hit the checkbox off to the left and click run. After a couple seconds, it will start the remote console. You are now remoted into the server and capable of doing things as if you were right in front of it. Here we see we are remoted into the FreeNAS lab setup. Well, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the lab.